Wilbur the Woolly by Nicky Rogers. There once was a shepherd with 100 sheep. Whether on mountains high or in valleys deep, the good shepherd watched and took care of them all. He'd be there to help in case any should fall. Each sheep was different, yes, each one unique. Some played guitar. Others played hide and seek. Boo! A few sheep were quiet, while others were loud. Some would make art, and others danced for a crowd. All those hundred sheep, though none were the same, the good shepherd loved and knew each one by name. There would come a time, at least once a year, the shepherd would gather his sheep up to shear. He would clip the wool off the sheep one by one, then let them all go, eat and play in the sun. Some sheep were confused about their woolly loss. Did the shepherd just want to show them who was boss? The wisest sheep knew that despite the unrest, the good shepherd loved them and knew what was best. Wilbur the sheep loved his coat, soft and warm. He would run and hide, so he wouldn't be shorn. The shepherd would call Wilbur, Wilbur. day after day, but Wilbur would just keep on running away. The sheep that were shorn quite enjoyed feeling light and trusted the shepherd to do what was right. But as Wilbur's wool grew, things weren't going too well. His coat got so dirty and started to smell. His wool became heavy. His back began aching. It was such a weight that his knees started shaking. He thought he would rest, so he went and laid down, but then couldn't get himself up from the ground. The good shepherd saw the sheep struggling there, so he lovingly lifted up Wilbur with care. He kindly asked Wilbur, Can I shear you now? But Wilbur refused and gave him a scowl. The wool grew so thick it soon covered his eyes. It looked like he was wearing some strange disguise. Wilbur's thick wool just kept growing and growing. Before long, he couldn't see where he was going. Unfocused, he wandered away from the flock. And before too long, he had quite a shock. He was scared of heights and found himself stiff. For there Wilbur stood the edge of a cliff. As Wilbur looked down to the rocks at his feet, he slumped down in sadness and started to bleat. I wanted to keep my wool all to myself, but this weight is too heavy and bad for my health. I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm all on my own, I'm feeling so lost, and I want to go home. Back in the field, the good shepherd frowned, for Wilbur the woolly was nowhere around. Then, from up on the cliff, he heard Wilbur call and ran to the lost sheep, so he wouldn't fall. The shepherd then led Wilbur down the right track. My friend, please let me take this load off your back. Can I shear you now, Wilbur? The good shepherd said. The poor worn out Wilbur just nodded his head. 
As wool was removed, the whole world seemed much brighter. With each stroke of the shears, his load became lighter. The shepherd clipped Wilbur, and stroke after stroke, he patted him gently and lovingly spoke. Your beautiful wool is a blessing, it's true. But if you're not careful, it weighs you down too. I'm here to protect you and help you stay clean. I do things to love you and not to be mean. Your lovely warm wool can bless others, you see. And that's why you grow much more than you need. Then off with a skip, feeling so light and free. He thought to himself, Shepherd really loves me. So from that day on, when it came shearing time, Wilbur the Woolly was the first one in line.